Today on the Science of Candy, we are going to be making lollipops and hard candy and looking at their properties and how they're a little bit different than some of the other candies we've made so far. Candy syrup is very hot and can cause serious burns. Have adult supervision. The first step is to add the following ingredients to the saucepan. Two thirds cup sugar and one cup light corn syrup. Place the mixture over medium heat until it begins to boil. Stir occasionally. Cover and heat the mixture for three minutes. Uncover and heat the mixture until it reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit on a candy thermometer. Do not stir during this stage. While the sugar syrup is heating, measure out the flavoring, one and a half teaspoons of a flavored extract. You may also add a few drops of food coloring if you'd like your lollipops to be colorful. You also need to prep the molds. Add the lollipop sticks to the slots on the mold. When the candy thermometer has reached 300 degrees, remove the sugar mixture from the heat. Add in the flavoring and food coloring. Pour the sugar syrup mixture into the prepared molds. Remember, the sugar syrup is very hot and can cause serious burns, so please have an adult do this step. After the candy has completely cooled, remove the candy from the molds. Enjoy your newly made lollipops. Many of the candies we made previous to this the sugar formed crystals. These lollipops are a little bit different though. When we look at some of the chips of lollipops under the microscope, we don't see any crystal structures. What is going on here? In the candies we've talked about before, the molecules line themselves up to create a repeating shape and pattern and connect to each other. These are crystals. Heating the candy to certain temperatures and having certain cooling rates mean that the molecules don't have time to organize themselves into a crystal. They kind of freeze right where they are. This is an amorphous material. There are other amorphous materials, such as glass, and they will break in similar ways to the lollipops when struck. In fact, sugar and glass break in such similar ways. Sugar was used as a substitute for glass in old time theater and special effects. We'll talk more about this in a future video. I hope you enjoyed learning about lollipops. Over the next several videos, we will learn more about sugar glass candies. Join us next time when we talk about sponge candy. Happy science exploring! I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.